so this is Battle Construction Vehicles. It is a game from Midas that was released only in the EU and Japan. Uh, it never got a, an American release at all, uh, which is a shame for people in America, but it means we get to hear the like brilliant British voice acting that Midas employed at the time. Uh, this is going to be all major cutscenes, which basically is all of the animated cutscenes uh, throughout the game. And we're going to be starting from, well, there's one immediately after that sets the tone, but the, the gist of the story is that we're taking over the business of our father who died, uh, and we need to basically wrestle against the evil Shirabi cult to reclaim everything. But uh, we'll let the uh, story kind of play out a bit. I'll try and explain it as we go. So, three, two, one, let's go. So there's going to be one right at the start, uh, which is everything you want in a cutscene. Listen to me. You must succeed your father. I beg you, young master. Shut it. Gramps, I left because I didn't want to do just that. So he's dead. Uh, still no reason to change my mind. Whoa, watch it. Easy there, Gramps, okay? Look, young master. Since the boss died, the Congos have dispersed. All the factories around here have been taken by Shurabe, and we have nothing left. Is that so? It still has nothing to do with me. You're wrong! Young master! You are the only son of the construction tiger Danjuro Congo. The skill to drive heavy vehicles sleeps within you. Will you just let it slumber your entire life? Master Hayato! So the gist is that we will uh, now have to fight our old man here uh, to prove that we don't want to uh, take over the company, you know, in kind of like a reverse psychology sort of thing. Panty Party Ray, I've not launched Panty Party in so long, but uh, we're going to be driving a very big diggers and various... He's been very aggressive to us here. Uh, but uh, we're going to be basically fighting people throughout the game uh, in various construction vehicles. So we're caught here. We can't like do our more powerful attack. Also. You'll see us lifting the bucket, the more powerful attack than normal, as is the swing that he's doing. We kind of want to not get hit by him. That is the big, big, <laughs> big brain moment of the game is not to be hit. <laughs> we've, uh, we've done him. So we're going to be moving on to fighting, oh sorry, getting our first crew member in now. Uh, a gentleman called Matsubayama, who is able to make diggers sing. Uh, it is cut off a little bit of the bomb. Uh, I will sorry if we ever like get in. Uh, Need to make sure we uh, don't skip. Here we go. So this is Matsubayama making his machine float like a butterfly and sting like a bee.
I'm as light as a feather today. Yes. Good workout. Yes. Uh, mm hmm. Is a thing indeed. So now we're going to have to fight him. Basically, we want to cl get him into our crew. And the only way we can get people into our crew is by battling them. Makes sense, I guess. BCB. Start. So now we're in the crane. And we kind of want to get the swing attack. Because it does more damage. But as long as he like actually blocks, then it becomes a bit of a pain. But we can try and get him caught in things. Yeah, they, they didn't code this game that well in terms of like hitboxes, I guess. Because things can be very whiffy, even though they look as though they hit. Now, the little ropes that you see on the on the screen are our tension gauges, and when that breaks, we get a special attack, and so does the enemy if his breaks first as well. We will probably see uh, Matsubayama's here. Uh, but if we get him caught. We're pretty much golden because the AI is a bit stupid. Congo crew. One. Ha! You ready for another meeting with Congo? But uh, yeah, we continue on now. So Beth is uh, going to be joining us soon. Uh, our character here doesn't kind of like leaves it to be a woman. Uh, uh, no. No, please. There we go. So, we've now got Masubayama. Uh, we're gonna basically get Beth to join the crew. And uh, this is Beth. So Beth has joined the crew. And we're going to get another cutscene here. A fair bidding process. Don't make me laugh. You there. Is this what you mean by fair? Huh? Huh? As you can see, the biz manager's being caught in quite a precarious position. And being blackmailed. But uh, we're going to now fight a person called Aya uh, to try and acquire this job from Shurabe. BCB. Start. Go. That's the kind of attack we want. The sweep is the most powerful attack for this machine. So the bad news is, is that we there's going to be a chance we're not going to see any special attacks in this, and the special attacks are really really good. They they kind of make the game a lot more well a, lo a lot more sort of crazy Congo. but that is that i had done dealt with bid accepted. and we won the bid ha! you ready for another meeting with congo So you see the bids manager there in the background. He's really, really happy for some reason. There's two reasons that is. He's just witnessed his first uh, construction vehicle battle. 
uh, as well as uh, he's now kind of free, I guess, to choose the, the correct bid. Now we're going to meet Kyoko. No bees or butterflies today. Something up with Matsuyama? Now you mention it, he did actually say something about feeling ill this morning. Huh. That's because we don't pay him well enough. I reckon he must have been forced to eat spoiled food. You know what your biggest problem is? It's an overactive imagination. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, hey there! Who's driving, who's driving, driving that? that? Who are you? Get out of my machine! What a heap of junk! The controls on this thing suck! So this is Kyoko. She's the one who sent us the letter or the envelope full of photos of the bids manager. Uh, and she's kind of just like joined our crew of her own free will. Uh, you know, just, just, you know, turned up and started working. But yeah, we don't pay anyone well enough. You know, we, we have to beat them in battle construction vehicle uh, battles, as it were, to make them join the crew. So we're obviously not paying people well enough as it is. So we kind of want to go back because we can get stuck here quite badly. Now, can we actually get out of here, please? There we go. So the dirt, <laughs> the pits are terrible. As, uh, as Kyoko is just about to find out. But the, uh, the handling is also very tanky, as you can imagine, for the type of, you know, machines we're driving here. But, uh, even more so when you're off camera because sometimes the camera doesn't actually follow you uh, it seems to have its a mind of its own in terms of not not following you but following the enemy which is really useful oh we get our special iron supplement so this is one of the specials of the game each machine has its own independent one or a different one and we'll end up beating her. Oh no, she's going to get her special. You know, she effectively blows us up. But she's going to die soon, so that's fine. Congo crew. One. So those are two of the specials. Like I say, each machine and each character has their own special in each machine. Uh, as we'll generally be playing as Hayato all the way, Hayato does have the most of them. So, Kyoko Tachibana has joined the crew. Uh, no. Come on, there we go. So, we're going to be fighting a gentleman called Adachi now. Uh, of course, you don't get to see his cut cutscene that much there, because it's not an animated one. Uh, but he's basically going around and battling all of the crews in wherever we are in the world, I guess, uh, and uh, betting to acquire parts uh, if he beats you in a battle, because we're not the only ones doing construction vehicle battles. So being the smart people we are, we bet every single piece of our equipment against him joining us in our crew, because that is the smart thing to do, you know? So we kind of want him to hit this. There we go. So if we get back, we can actually get him to take damage from that. Because the... <laughs> That is true, Road Roller Da. Uh, we fight in this twice in this game. Uh, once as Adachi here, uh, or against Adachi, should I say, and then later on we fight using Adachi because uh, we obviously get him as part of our crew because we're professionals.
So he has a far more powerful machine than us, I guess, at this point. Because Road Roller. So we need to kind of like, not trick him, I guess, but get him into a state where he can't attack us. But that is a Dachi. He is now part of our crew. We don't have any cutscenes for a short while now. And Dachi is obviously not happy that he's joined our crew, but you know, you don't bet, you, you know, no, no, no betting. Uh, you don't get anything. Uh, no pain, no gain. So he's now part of our crew. And we're going to be meeting a gentleman called Jake. Who has his own theme song. But uh, basically they're saying that the bids are the same. And this is Jake. Jake is a lone wolf. Uh, who is Beth's love interest. Uh, and uh, thankfully Narita gives us Beth's diary here. Where we learn that, uh, not Beth, sorry, Jake's diary here, where we learn that Jake will do anything for money. Uh, and that really does mean everything. There are some very dodgy pictures, I believe, in that book that we don't see, but uh, Pato won't show Kyoko at all. So again, we can get them stuck in the against the uh, arena uh, hazards, as it were. And we try and like avoid them, obviously blocking. We don't want them to block if we can avoid it. Come on, we want the more powerful attack, please. There we go. That's not what we wanted at all, but... So, the swing attack is more powerful. There's no way of knowing which attack you're going to get. Like, at all. There's no separate button for the more powerful attack. You have a more powerful attack and that's it. And it will appear randomly, kind of when you don't want it, a lot of the time. We'll stop him doing that, thank you very much. But this is the uh, Jake in his lone wolf figure. And we're gonna get him trapped here actually, so this is fine. We can just do two more normal attacks and he'll be gone. Congo crew. Bid accepted. So we beat Jake, we get the bid. But Jake also wants what Beth has been holding of him. Um, Beth's been holding on to some dear of Jake uh, for a while. So we're going to be going into a battle where we fight against Jake as Beth. Um, and I need to remember to stop mashing buttons. So Beth is reading Jake's diary here. Uh, and Beth is back. He, you know, wants his album. Uh, he wants to basically, you know, Beth is upset that he left. BCB. So, uh, of course, the only way to settle our differences is in a construction vehicle battle. And as you can tell by them being like, Lovers, they both drive the same types of machine. Unfortunately, we can't do the cool little, uh, like, wheelie attack. We can only do the more powerful digger attack, which hopefully we will get again and again. It looks like we're being quite lucky here with the attacks. So... There are stage hazards like the dynamite that you saw there. The worst one is there's a crane uh, that is in the 
building. Uh, not in the in the building site as it were, and it swings around a box that can hit you a number of times and cause quite a lot of damage. The fan here isn't too much of a worry, it will only blow us back. It won't actually do any damage if he manages to get it to actually go on. So we whiffed again. Come on, we don't want to whiff. There we go, we get this more powerful attack. Oh yes, we have this cutscene now. And leaving you. Here it is. When I left, I was carrying your photo. His glasses this don't photo. have like. I know that Beth. Things that go over the ears. But my feelings haven't changed, Jake. <laughs> I still care for you. I know you do, Beth. Jake. Hey, you'll be working hungry if you don't start eating. Cue the sexual innuendos. So, <laughs> they're now back together, they're best buds again. Uh, you know. So, <laughs> we're going to be moving on here. Uh, we see Kyoko get kidnapped by Shirabe. At this point in the, the, the timeline, as it were, we believe that there's a spy amongst the crew. Uh, and we believe because of that, that is Kyoko, that is the spy. So we come to here to basically, you know, ask what's going on. And we have to fight this gentle little kid called Shiro, who drives a massive crane in our road roller dar. Hopefully he's not aggressive to us too much. He certainly is acting aggressive. <laughs> so thankfully he's generally pretty safe he gets stuck quite easily i pretty down to it being a kid driving the crane and we can generally kill him pretty quickly there we go. Oh, Shiro. So, of course, we do our little rocking motion in our road roller da. Ha! You ready for another meeting with Congo? So, we have another cutscene here where we find out that the bid was lower, but the bid's manager was basically wanting to see more battle construction, uh, well, construction vehicle battles. So, of course, we beat him up uh, because, you know, it's fine like that. So, we uh, finally meet Ume, the head of the Shirabi Corp. Let's Kyoko go! And we soundly get defeated. Congo, well, if you wish to continue breathing, do not take Ume Shirabi as your enemy. And they zoom off. Hey, Tanura, get the car. Get after them. <laughs> oh my god. Such a terrible cutscene. <laughs> so now we go to the Shrabe Corp headquarters here. Um, we're trying to get in, but we can't. We have to fight this person called Yumada. Uh, and she is one of the worst battles in the game by a long, long, long shot. We're driving this huge tipper and she's in a really nice, fast forklift. Oh, she's been, we're being lucky here. Oh, we're not because she got stuck and then got free. So one thing that can happen is that she can get stuck in the mud really well for us.
like that. But there's a good chance we're going to get a... He's going to get a special off on us. Because her special is... Kind of one of the ones that is... Really easy for her to build up. Because of the type of machine we're in. And the close quarters that she gets to us. We'll try and avoid it as best we can, I guess. Because it's, it's one of the longest ones. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> nice. So we want to, like, go over here and get her to come around because we can't fight her there that well. So this is where the camera is terrible because it cuts to the... enemy! And then eventually we'll figure out, hey, you know, he's not actually there. I agree that the Rogue Roller should have been used as a offensive weapon there, considering we've been using it like that all the time. We might be lucky here. And avoid her. So there are different attacks. Oh no, we're gonna get attacked here. Yeah. Bargain sale! Bargain sale! So she summons a horde of shoppers which completely destroy our So we need 1% of damage to take her out and this 1% is going to be impossible like really awkward to get There we go she ran into us just as we were attacking that's fine One ha. You ready for another meeting with Congo So now that we've done that, we're going to be moving on to uh, basically finding out that Kyoko is the daughter of Ume Shirabe. At the moment, we're kind of in love with her, but we're doing the whole Sundere, uh like uh, approach for both of us, I guess, uh, where we'll where we're not interested but interested, if that makes sense. So we're going to be moving on to fighting Yuki. You know, we're here making, getting the food for the meals and stuff for the crew. And uh, we meet a gentleman with a very nice pompadour here called Yuki, who uh, basically is in the same mindset as Hayato and in love with Kyoko. And we can't have that. We can't have that at all. So we need to beat him up in a construction vehicle battle. So again, we kind of like want to get him kind of like running away from us. Oh yeah, the uh, we've, we've hit him like four times now. There we go, finally. So this is one of the more annoying I'm going to go around here and just try and, like, get him to get hit by it. Come on. Come on, guy. Come on, be nice and, like, get hit. So he's being really aggressive to us at the moment for some reason. Okay, we're gonna both get an attack off here. Back at you, back at you, back at you, back at you, get out of here. Right there. Right through me. So we got the attack off out of the pair of us. There's a good chance he's gonna get his attack off next. Nope, we win. So we have those head-to-heads where you've basically just got to mash buttons to win.
So, yeah, he's now upset he leaves because, you know, we beat him and honor among thieves and all that. So, now we're going to find out. Basically, Master Bayama leaves us, I'm afraid. Uh, his master is being kidnapped by the Shrabi Corp. And we happen to find this dog on our building site. You know, and he's very angry. So he jumps into a digger of his own, his purple digger, and proceeds to, well, BCP. we need to beat him up as well. Stop. So we're in a uh, a road roller again, as a dachi. Now, the bad thing is I've never seen the dog's special ability at all. I don't know how long it would take to, like, build it up because... Basically, the road roller here is stupendously powerful. As you can see, we've done 53% damage to him, 63%, and he's done 11 to us. So even when he hits us, if we're, like, on the attack, he will absolutely get wrecked. But you can see the Polo Doge in his little cockpit there. Congo crew. One. As, much as Dachi says, don't be too upset. We're just too strong. But we find out that, lo and behold, this scar has a driver. This dog has a driver's license and a scar. Much like, much like what Matsubayama said to us. But it's too late. Matsubayama has defected to the Shirabi Corp. He's uh, upset. Uh and he still believes his master is being taken. So we have to fight him now because miraculously the bids were the same value this time round. Who would have thought? BCB. Start. So again, we kind of want to get Matsubama to go into the dirtier. Or get caught in a corner of the map. Which it looks like he's going to do for us here. As long as we, like, don't actually get caught ourselves, I guess. So, blocking blocks all damage. It is a pain. There is one enemy that does it a lot. Uh, okay, game. I'm not like I'm not turning to the right here. This is the game being a bit terrible to us, and how we're like. We'll happily take that. So we need to just kind of time the attacks just as we go to make sure he's not blocking like this. Obviously not like that. But that is Matsubama unfortunately dead. Thank you for that host and raid demon. Welcome to Demon's Crew. Uh, we're currently recording a VOD for UKSM, no G even, sorry. Uh, so there is a cutscene there. Uh, he does get punched by the dog. Uh, it's fine for that one. I'll give it a couple of extra seconds before I split for that. Uh, and remember it next time. Uh, so basically, he gets scolded by the dog and punched by the dog for A, defecting, and B, not like saving him, I guess, and not being a pro. Uh, but we're going to basically find a picture of the three family members, Ume, Danjuro, and 
Atto's mother. So we find out that, uh, lo and behold, something's wrong. Uh, so we have to go back now and fight Narita. Uh, because Narita is just Narita. Start. <laughs> So hopefully we can get Narita to get stuck, basically, is the, is the key. He's driving a road roller, uh, which is far more powerful than the vehicle we're driving. Uh, if he hits us. But hopefully we can, like, get him to kind of not do that. Okay, we're doing well so far, even even with the big hits. Okay, we, we whiffed that completely, but that's fine. But we're doing well. This is this is good. Nirito is normally one of the more awkward ones because of the fact that his machine is more powerful than us. So, ah yes, this is where we find out that Danjiro is not our father, but Ume is. And it kind of would have been quite apparent, I hope, to Hayato because of this next cutscene we're going to be watching. So this is uh, Dandro Ume and his wife. Uh, now, so uh, ah yes, we pour the bucket of Hayato, water. We do the ice bucket the challenge, and we find out that Hayato has an egghead that is like ten times bigger than his hair, uh, and that is uh, basically. His wife left him because of various things, went to Danjiro while she was pregnant, uh, and basically Danjiro raised him as his own. So now he's upset because no one told him this, so he's he was basically going to defect over to Shrabe Corp himself, and because Danora never kind of like fought for the honour of Danjiro and his wife, He's going to go to fight Narita uh, to try and, like, reclaim his pride. Start. So again, we're against Road Roller Da. We kind of want the swinging attack, please, game. That would be nice. There we go. Because we can just, like, attack at range. As long as he like actually doesn't like sit there. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. So he's gonna go into the corner and be really awkward for us. Again, Rita here is one of the more awkward battles. Because he's got a more maneuverable vehicle than us. But as long as we can get him like caught into a corner, I guess, it's ideal for us to sort of just whittle away down his health. But not this corner, ideally, please. Because we're totally going to get stuck here. Oh 
Oh yeah, we're, we're stuck. There we go, we're out. Unfortunately, we're going to get... So, Narita is voiced by the, the same character as the old man, I'm pretty sure. We might break just in time, I guess. There we go, we're going to break. So, we're going to go and get our special off on him. And this should win us. There we go. So it was close. Only a bit easier than that. Normally, Narita doesn't, like, get stuck. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so we have two more specials there. So we're going to be going on to the final battle now. But basically, uh, Denura comes back, he's been beaten up, and the sad music, and the screen goes grey, and... You know... There's actually, in the Japanese version, there's actually, like, audio for his scream there. But, uh... Oh no, he's alive, don't worry. So now we're gonna go fight Umi. Umi is, uh, one of the more awkward, uh, characters. Uh, to fight. He blocks everything. Or tries to. BCB. And he's in a more powerful vehicle than us. So we'll see how we get on. Like I say, hopefully we'll get enough attacks off on him to not worry. So far, so good. 69, nice. So, his special is one of the slowest. Uh, to basically build off. Okay, that hit. That was very lucky then. So we, what we want to do is kind of sit, locking him. Ah, we can't. So he has an art truck that he attacks us with. So unfortunately, this means that we're probably gonna like just defeat him anyway. Because even if we get our special now. Well, he's close to dying. There we go. Congo crew. One. Ha! You ready for another meeting with so Congo? that's the main game done. So at the moment, we we have our love interest who we found out that we're now related to. Uh, this, my friend, is for all you did to my father and mother. This is for all you did to Damnora! And this is for Kyoko! Oh yeah, Ume can punch. Listen up. Well, the world is a mess. If you don't do it, you get done. You can't make it big without getting your hands dirty. Ha! You just don't understand anything! I can't believe that your blood flows within me. But surely that means you understand that I'm not going to change my mind! Uh, are you? Uh, uh, <laughs> fine, fine then. Raising my kid and turning him against me. Well done, Danjuro. Brave. Here. Uh. Hayato! Just as I promised. No tricks. But still, you cannot beat Yubei Shirabi. 
You will never surpass me. Never. Remember that. This is the happiest looking diss I've ever seen. And you, Kyoko. Research your past a little. I adopted you. We are not connected by blood. What do you think of that? So, yeah, we find out that Kyoko was adopted all along. So now their love can be, well, can be a thing. And that is Battle Construction Vehicles. <laughs>